Following the example from the last lecture, let's write a query to get the customers located in California. So select. For now, let's only pick the customer ID column. Don't use a star. We'll talk about this later. So customer ID from the customers table where state equals California. When we execute this, obviously we see these numbers here. Beautiful. Now let me show you how MySQL actually executes this query. So we can prefix this with the explain keyword. And now when we run this, instead of seeing this actual result, we're going to see something else. Take a look. So we have these columns here, like select type, table, partitions, type, and so on. Now don't worry about all these columns. You're going to learn about them as we go through this section. The two columns that you need to pay attention to are type and rows. When we see all under type, that means MySQL is going to do a full table scan, which means it's going to read or scan every single record in this table. Here in the rows column, you can see the number of records that were scanned. In this case, we have 1010 because that's the number of records we have in the customer's table. Take a look. So select count of everything from the customer's table. There you go. So back to this query. Because currently we don't have an index on the state column, in order to find the customers located in California, MySQL has to scan every single record in this table. And this can get very slow as our customer's table grows large. What if we have a million records here? This query is going to take several seconds or minutes. This is where we use an index. So we put an index on the state column to speed up this query. Let me show you. So we type out create index. We give our index a name. Quite often we prefix the name by IDX or IX. Then we add an underline and here we specify the name of the column that we're going to put an index on. In this case, state. As a best practice, always give meaningful names to your indexes. I've seen people creating indexes like index one, index two. What does this represent? I have no idea. So always use meaningful names. So here we create an index called IDX state on customer's table. And inside this parenthesis, we type out the name of the columns we want to put an index on. In this case, state. So let's execute this line. Beautiful. Now let's execute the first statement one more time. Take a look. In the type column, we no longer have all, which means we don't have a full table scan. And in the rows column, we see 112. So we reduce the number of records that MySQL has to read from 1010 to 112. This is far faster. Now look under the possible keys. These are various indexes that MySQL might consider for executing this query. It is possible that we might have multiple indexes. So MySQL picks the one that has the best performance. So here we have the possible keys or indexes. And in the key column, we can see the actual index or key that was used. So this is how an index can speed up our query. Now it's time for an exercise. Write a query to find customers with more than a thousand points. Use the explain statement to see how many records MySQL is going to scan to produce the result. Then create an index on this column and compare the result. You will see my solution next. All right, so first let's select customer ID from the customers table where points is greater than a thousand. Now we're going to use the explain keyword to see how MySQL executes this query. So as you can see, we have a full table scan and the number of records that MySQL is going to read is 1010. So let's go ahead and create an index on the points column so we can quickly find customers with more than a thousand points. Create index IDX underline points on customers table and in parentheses we type out points. Let's execute this line. Beautiful. Now we're going to explain this query one more time. This time we have range instead of all, which means we're looking for a range of records. Under possible keys, we can see the index that we just created. Obviously, we can see that MySQL picked this index. And here are the number of records that MySQL had to read. So we reduced the number of records from 1,000 to 500. Next, I'm going to show you how to view indexes on a table. 